My name is Ben, and my business is Roasted. I started my first business ever. Today I'm going to show you my products that I am selling. So far we've made over $2,100 in sales. I'm the owner and operator of Soldier Clothes, and I launched my business on the My For Sale Business Fit. My name is Marty Frill. I'm the principal at St. Jude the Apostle School in Westlake Village, California. This program came up to us and I just thought that it was such a good idea because it was something that the kids can take on themselves and, you know, really be unique about. And, uh, you know, just, and then at, at the same time, really build up their self-confidence as they're building up their, uh, their businesses. So I was really surprised about how confident our students were. I thought that they were really confident not only in their pitches, but their confidence growing um, as they continue to know more about the businesses and, and what their, their product really was. The kids were doing all kinds of different businesses. When I was going to see their pitches, I would see kids that were selling things small like bookmarks and, and stickers. And then you jump in and some kids were making detailed wooden box kits and kids from all different ages were able to really participate in their own way. You know, having kids as young as kindergarten age, being able to make their own t-shirt business and then all the way up to our middle school kids who you know, were giving guitar lessons and, and creating packages like that. I just, I thought that was really cool and creative. Yeah, well, this was our first year participating as a school. So we really didn't know what to expect. And what we saw was uh, 29 of our students decided to join in and, and jump in in this program. Um, and their sales were way higher than anything that we could have ever expected. Uh, in the first week, they sold about $6,700 worth of products. Uh, you know, over 350 customers uh, were there and participating. And I just love seeing that the, the student stores and, and their goals that they had, them exceeding their expectations. And some were selling up to 300% more than what they thought they would be making. You know, they, they, they took it on themselves. You know, they, they built that independence. And that's something that I think a lot of things are missing with kids today is, you know, they don't have a lot of independence and, and these kids uh, just jumped in and they, they, they took it all on themselves and, and they became really successful with it. Doing the fair was one of the better decisions we made all year, uh, especially with having such a difficult year during COVID. It it's, was something that was such a great decision for us to make. It really was not labor intensive. It wasn't a, a huge price. And the rewards that uh, we got afterwards, seeing our students you know, earn so much money and start their own businesses, promoting it at school, you know, they, they just, um, they really grew from it. And it was definitely a peak moment for us this year. The thing for principals to know, I, I think that today in schools, honestly, we, we have too much where everything that we do is some kind of fundraiser or we're, we're trying to you know earn something back there's a, there's a reason why we're doing it and you know but it's always for something to, to help out the school and i would love principals to really take a step back and look at how important it is to, to do just community building activities like this right and this was something that built the community up you know we brought the community in for the fair and they got to come in and see all the student businesses um, you know, families were joining in and it was just, it's cool to build that community with our, our school families, our staff, and they were all, you know, invested in it and celebrating the kids with it. So just that piece right there built up our community um, in such a positive way. And, and I would say to other principals, things like this are going to make your school 10 times better because if you can build up your community and people are happy and positive, then they're going to want to come to fundraisers and they're going to want to come to, you know, your school events and, and support your school. So that, that's, that would be my suggestion.